World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. is more than knowing about the rich men in the whole world. And it's better than knowing about the wealth of this world. Because when you know the love of God in you, you will never want to leave the love of God. God's love endures forever. Through Jesus Christ. How can I see this love? When I'm going through the pains and sicknesses. Through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus. We receive the love of God. Through Jesus. We live in the love of God. Through Jesus, we speak about the love of Jesus. How are we going to see the love of God in our lives when God confirms with the fire? Immediately when you see the fire and hear the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit. When you are in it, when you are called in the name of Jesus Christ, two things which you have to know. Because you belong to this fire. I mean when you are born again. This fire cannot burn you or destroy you. But this fire gives you power and confirmation. Amen. Amen. God confirms his love to us with the fire. The fire comes from the Holy Spirit. And our God is a consuming fire. His glory covered the earth. Through Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord covered the whole earth. Because his blood was shed here on earth. So in the glory of the Lord, we receive the confirmation of our God. God confirms many things in us. God strengthens us in his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Glory to Jesus Christ. Clap hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Be seated well in the presence of the Lord. God loves you. That is why you are here today. God loves you. He wants to restore all your things. And again, he will start by you. And again, he will restore all your things by his power, by his authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God loves you, he will restore also the things which you can't think that really God is minding about that. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you are here, your house will be restored and your work will be restored. Your business will be restored. Your children in the house will be restored. Also your fields will be restored. And again also your goats will be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ who doesn't change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I'm happy to be with you today. Know that I enjoy to be in the presence of the Lord all the days of my life. I enjoy to be in the services of Jesus. Why? Every service is new and unique. You can attend many services, but every service is new and unique. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm still in the fire in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Lift up your hands in the presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you in this wonderful time. Yes. We thank you for this gracious day. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Whoever has entered into this yard, he or she is ready for the restoration. Amen. He or she is ready for the blessings. Amen. I pray in the name of you, Jesus Christ, mm. for the reading of your word. Mm. We say, Holy Spirit, continue to teach us more and to explain more. Mm. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior today. Lord, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say amen. We are going to read the word of God. After that, it will be prayers of restoration. In the restoration, know that it's a full package. Because there are healings, there are deliverances, and again, the Lord Jesus Christ disarms darkness. We see Jesus Christ arresting darkness and its things. Again, in the restoration, we see Christ separating 
Darkness from his people. Putting darkness aside, a human being aside with him. This is the work of restoration indeed. So in the restoration work, we see Jesus Christ working great things which are above our minds and above our knowledge. This is the restoration work. And again, we understand the scriptures. We see the scriptures being fulfilled when Jesus Christ is restoring. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Can we read together from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7? We shall read verse 1 to verse 4. It was by the time of King Solomon when he was dedicating the temple. He dedicated the temple to the Lord. And again, because he wanted God himself to be known and to be seen. Let us know that this God doesn't change. He is the same. He wants many to know him. And he wants many to see him. To see his works. Because seeing God is when you are seeing his works. Because you can't see this God physically with your eyes. But you can see his works in your life. And you can witness his miracles in your life. So today we are going to learn this word of God. Let us read from verse 1 to 4. It says, When Solomon finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The priests could not enter the temple of the Lord because the glory of the Lord filled it. When all the Israelites saw the fire coming down and the glory of the Lord above the temple, they knelt on the pavement with their faces to the ground and they worshipped and he gave thanks to the Lord, saying, He is good, his love endures forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord. Hari Solomo offered Zayeni Otabero, Hambo Wamurilo, Uchibata Duru, Wapisa Zutabero, Nazizim, Urena Ayova, Hadaranduni Ketra. Bochi peva si chakona ujena nduni ya Yehova. Nga uvure na ha Yehova hadara nduni ya Yehova. Ba Israele boteva chivona muriro uchita. Na vure na ha Yehova huka nduketwa. Ba guadrama ba isa zipatuopansi karubata. Ba rosha valivu ha Yehova nga urindi ene muvuya wabutu halini nalini. Praise the Lord. Amen. They knelt down and they gave the sacrifices unto the Lord. 
Why? Because King Solomon prayed. He was speaking with God himself. Dedicating the temple. After he prayed, the word of God says where we have read, the fire came down and be upon the temple. And inside the temple was filled with the glory of the Lord. In such a way that the priests were unable to enter inside. Because the temple was filled with the glory of the Lord. But the Israelites, they were seeing all this. They saw the fire and they saw the glory of the Lord and again the Bible says people worshipped God. They knelt down and put their faces down. As a sign of worship so, in other words, they were saying that this God is good and look, his love endures forever. Why? Because they were knowing about this God through the scriptures. But they became now the part of the blessings. And again, they saw the love of God also including them. Really, his love endures forever. Because they were not there when the nation of God was crossing the Red Sea. But they've heard what God did. They've heard how God walked with Abraham. They heard how God walked with Moses. They heard about how God walked with Joshua. But look now, the love of God endures forever. Why? because we are also covered by this love. Because we are also in this love. We are also seeing this love. They say, oh, this God is good. This God is good, brethren. Look at him, he doesn't. You are also included in his love. You are the part of his love. You are in his heart. He knows you. And he wants wants you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So under this topic which says God's love endures forever. Hallelujah. Amen. You see now when I started I gave you the short brief of what was happening in the spiritual world. And some people have gone away from the kingdom 
And Some people said we are tired of calling upon Jesus. We want to make money. By abusing God's people. Some chose to stand before people and lie to them. And the Rawanas to come. As long as we get what we want from them, they turn their banks against the love of God. That doesn't mean that God has forsaken God them. wants them to repent. Amen. Amen. You see, to know the love of God is more than knowing about the rich men in the whole world. And it's better than knowing about the wealth of this world. Because when you know the love of God in you, you will never want to leave the love of God. You will just leave. And when I know, he searched for me when I was born. He found me lost. He washed me. And he gave me eternal life. And he gave me eternal life. He even allowed me to work the authority You will even understand the authority that Only you when have. you say in the name of Jesus. And you see the power that is in the name of Jesus. You will ask yourself where do I go from here? You will have to answer like Peter and say, where would we go? To whom should we go? Where should we go if we leave? If we leave the Lord, where are we going? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is talking to you today. You went through tough times. Now there are lots of things that are happening in the world. At work, a lot of things are happening. Those things are shaking you. Some are saying, leave Some this God. Some are saying, get away from this God. Reject him. Only to separate you from the love of God. God is talking to you. The love of God is forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The love, of, the love of God does not get rusted. It doesn't get old. The love of God is new every morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've heard about many oaths that people take when they get married. Sometimes women get fat when they are married. The husband feels they must lose weight. They are just gaining more and more weight. Is that what is causing you to look for other women? Remember the vows. You said whatever happens. I will only be separated from this woman by death. Uh, is being fed death? 
Biba troubles in Bango Mufuna Runa Bavana Ruya Rosa, Bango Bafuna Goribako does in Kaiwe. Some people's love gets rusted. Some love you because they want something. Nani Kori Bona ni Rufuna Romzi. I am saying. Look at the love of God. The God that will never turn you away. He restores everything that is scattered. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't need to save any more today. There are things that I like when people come complain. I know God is going to do miracles. Ziko better than Abalabana or not of you to Mama Tamba get in. Nenimbot to the Zendari are a home of Makazia via to Jena. I tell myself, if this woman comes here, and I stand in the name of Jesus, I say, verily, verily, if...